So in the previous example, where we overloaded this increment operator, uh, we did not use any retard type. The retard type of this function was void. Okay. So uh, suppose now I want create another object counter C2 and then I want that C2 should be equal to plus plus C1. Will this work? No, this will not work. Why? Because the return type here is void. It is not returning anything. And what we are trying to do here, we are trying to assign the value returned by this plus plus C1 to another variable C2. This will not work. So here you can see it is giving us an error, no match for operator equal to. Because here we are expecting the return type counter, but it is giving us void. It is not returning anything. Now how to change it so that it returns a value, it returns a data type of count. For that instead of word we have to use counter okay? because uh, we are writing here c2 is equal to plus plus c1. Okay? So uh, c2 is of type counter, c1 is of type counter. So, return type should be counter. Okay. Then we are incrementing the count because this function is returning an object. Let us create a temporary object t where t is t dot count is equal to count, the incremented count. Okay. And then return t. So what will happen now? Plus plus C1 will cause this function to be called through C1. And then C1's count will be incremented. Then we will create a temporary object. And the count of that temporary object will be equal to the new count of C1. And then at the last statement, we are returning that temporary object. Okay. So, uh, let us try to see what we get in C1 count and C2 count. C2 count. So, okay. so here initially C1 and C2 both are 0 because they are initialized to 0 through this constructor. And then when we write c1 dot get count, it gives us 0. Then we write plus plus c1. Now will plus plus c1 work? I don't think it will work because we have changed this. Okay, so let us try to run this. It is still working. Okay, so yeah, it will work. Why? Because uh, although when we, uh, we call plus plus c1, then this will be called. Okay, so count will be incremented, and also it will assign that incremented count to a temporary object and return that temporary object. But here we are not assigning that return temporary object to anything. Okay, so count will be incremented here. Count will become one. Again, count will become two. Here also count will become 3, c1 dot count will become 3 and that 3 will also be assigned to c2, okay. So when we try to print c1 dot get count, it will be 3 and c2 dot get count, it will also be 3, okay. So 0, 0 is coming from here, then 3, 3 is coming from here, c1 dot get count and again 3, it is coming from here, c2 dot count. Okay.